bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Alright, I'm gonna water up the sheep No babies as of yet so I'm actually, I'm pretty surprised. They are so close, two of them for sure. And I thought with the barometric change uh, that we would have some babies. So what I'm doing right now um, is giving them some water and you guys are like, well, why are you walking around with uh, two five gallon buckets of water? You have a hydrant right by the sheep house here. I think this hydrant in their pen area, their paddock, um, I think he was rubbing on it. I, got a, I had a T post against it, but I don't think it was enough. So nevertheless, I'm back to hauling water over here for the sheep. And I just wanted to say one thing about our winter watering is a lot different than our summer watering. Hi, Maggie, be a good girl. Come here, come here and say hi. Good girl, oh, you're silly. But anyways, in the winter time, we're very uh, stingy with the water, I guess you'd say. Not in that we don't give it to them, but I just want, don't wanna have it laying around because it freezes up. So we give 10 gallons, then I'll come back and check it a little later. I find that to be a little better instead of just filling it up and then letting it freeze and then you gotta bust it all out, then you just wasted that water. So uh, you can see here, there's just barely any water in the tub. And I'll get the ice out of here, give them some fresh stuff, get them fed, no babies. I was really surprised. Uh, we've had some barometric changes, really to the hardcore cold and now to the little bit warmer, but they're gonna go any day now. sniffing you can stand off she's looking at them and they're looking at her you can see the water there so here's the shut off for their hydrant and I got in there and got it shut off um, and then obviously there's water in there and then it froze so it was perfect timing and I'm just glad I put a shut off valve on this hydrant unlike the other one and now we were able to save our water and keep the water going. So, get the sheep squared away, no babies yet. Like I said, that's kind of good news. We're hanging in there, so hopefully, we got another cold snap coming um, after today, so hopefully they'll make it through there. And a lot of you guys were asking about Mr. Turkey. He's doing great, except uh, we got two feet of snow, so he flipped out and went in the barn, um, and he never came out. <laughs> So he's out now checking out everything and uh, he's doing just fine. He's getting big too, isn't he? Say hi, Mr. Turkey. And then there's Maggie. She's turning into be a good farm dog, but we're really working hard with her. So if you guys get a dog around the homestead, like I had mentioned earlier, don't just throw it out there. Spend some time with it and let your dog, your canine know what's expected. Here comes Smokey and Sadie. This makes for a great shot. Hey, hey. Maggie. And this is one of the things we're working on, is being quiet around the horses. Maggie. Calm. Hey, calm. Calm. Shh. All right, so now we're going to get them some water, and we'll see how the uh, room's doing where our above-ground cisterns are. Good girl, you'd be a good girl. So usually we'll keep them open a place where they can get some water and it looks like they've uh, got that situated pretty good. So we're gonna add some water here for them and probably try to knock this ice out. A lot of you guys were asking like if the horses had shelter. Um, 
This is their great big shelter right here. This is also where our tanks are for the water, our gravity fed water system. But yeah, they have a big walk in right there and they can go in there anytime they want. And uh, yeah, they have a lot of fur and they're really built really good for withstanding cold temps. So as you can see, they're both enjoying their breakfast. They have stalls and everything. Yeah, we super have uh, shelters and everything for our animals. So if you're new around here, we uh, want you to catch up on some old videos, uh, get to know the way around the homestead. We have a lot of videos showing you guys around and we welcome you too. And uh, you've been branded as homestead homies. So we're glad to see a lot of you guys uh, hanging out with us and trying to learn about the lifestyle. Okay, we're inside the water tank area uh, after we've been having like negative two, three, four, five, 50 mile an hour winds, zero, uh, five degrees, uh, mega winds makes it even worse, I promise you. And we're just a little over 30 um, degrees inside of our storage room here that we foamed in. So I know a lot of people are trying to follow that along and see how, the, how it works during the winter time. And so far I'm totally giving it a passing grade. Got her all cleaned out, and Sadie's excited about the new water. And look how quiet Maggie is. Shh, Maggie, Maggie, come here. Maggie, come here. Come here, Maggie. Good girl. That's a good girl. Thank you. And just like the seep water, I'm not gonna let it get filled up, but I will check it later on today and see if they need some more. So what we do is we throw out a bale of straw too, and we kind of ridge it up where the north winds are bad. And then they use this for a little bedding spot and it also gets their feet out of the snow for a while. So as you can see, they've been utilizing that. And you can see their feed. And there they are getting ready to come and eat. And the pond's already starting to melt a little bit. I mean, it's crazy. It's like a 24 hour freeze and it can get frozen. And now, just the next day, the next morning, it's wet on top and you know, they could go in there and swim and dip, dip their beaks and everything. Come on, duck ducks. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the chicken donut. <laughs> Whatever it was called, she called it. Oh my gosh, we, have, we just have too much fun. So I'm gonna bring this in there and show you guys how they react to it. With your uh, chicken biscuit or whatever you call it <laughs> that Stacy helped you guys make, all you do is just tie your rope through the center. That's why she used the uh, chopstick thing there and made a hole for you. And then you just put the rope on there and you can hang it in the coop. And it's perfectly fine if you just chuck it on the ground like the old block is, or however creative you want to be with it. I guess that's it. Looks like we got the freezing rain coming in right now, as you can hear. <laughs> Never a dull moment on the homestead. Thanks, as always, for watching our videos. And also, let us know down below if you have the ingredients to make yours from scratch and when you're going to do it. And then when you do do it, come back and respond to your own comment and just say how it turned out. We'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe out there. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>